All right, Kung Fu Panda is one of my favorite movies. The first one was amazing. Second one, a little bit not as good, but the third one was amazing again. I hope they come out with more. Um, the perfect combination of action, comedy, drama, so good. Anyway, my goal here is to do a little lesson with arrays um, using the Kung Fu Panda characters to make an image slideshow first, where we have like a next, previous, and we can go through the different images of the characters, and then also a random button, just like the random one. After that, I also want to see if we can use JavaScript to create a gallery. Um, there's only six images, but we'll, it, it should still work with the six images. You know, obviously, you can imagine if there's more. Okay, so to start off with, in the video description, there is some start code. Um, the start code will have this um, template here. Um, all it is is the basic HTML with this div, which is the image container, and inside of it is an image. We've got uh, some background images, but for the characters, we've got Crane, Mantis, Monkey, Poe, Tigress, and Viper. So Poe and the Fabulous Five. Okay, it's styled a little bit, and I'm linking to my main.js here, which is empty. Okay, so I guess what I want to do for the slideshow um, is I want to use an array to store all of the file names. Because what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to change the source right of this image and that'll update the um, image that's displayed on the screen so let's do that let's set up uh, let's just set up a global variable here global variable image names maybe or image paths doesn't matter um, I'm, I'm creating a variable so let image paths be assigned an array so remember square brackets is an array which is an ordered collection and inside of here let's just go po dot PNG comma and then who's next? Let's go tigress dot pn oops ping png viper dot png etc monkey mantis one two three four five who am I missing here? Crane. Okay, so I'm gonna store all of the file names, the image file names inside of this array. And also have a variable um, image number to be assigned zero to start off with. Okay, and zero is the first. Um, actually, let's instead of image num, let's use index. Get used to that terminology because um, index is the number associated with the position in the array. So it starts at zero and then one, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay. So that's all set up now. I've got the files name stored. I've got an index to keep a variable to keep track of the index, what position I'm at. Now we need to have our event listeners. So let's start with the next button, ID next. Okay, so document dot get element by ID next dot add event listener. When I click it, I want to go to next. Um, slide, we'll call it. I have my event functions here. Let's go function next slide. Okay, so what do I want to do? When I click the next button, I want to increment the index and loop if necessary. Right? If I get to the last image, I want to say, oh, let's just go back to the beginning or stop. I could do that too, but, but let's just loop it. So to do that, I will just go image index plus plus. If image index is greater than 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, although we did learn about the determining the length of an array. And that might come in handy if instead of doing a hard number here, um, the length of the array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if image index equals image paths dot length then I know I've gone too far right if there's six things it's zero to five so if I equal six I've gone off right if there were ten images um, it'd be zero to nine so if it equals ten the length of the array I know I've gone too far all right and that's just it's a good practice to do the length here because what if we added a few images I'd have to remember to change the code here so I think this would be more uh, maintainable Anyway, if it equals the length, I've gone too far. So image index should be assigned zero. Remember the difference between double equals and single equals, right? The double equals is a comparison operator. Single equals is the assignment operator. 
Okay, then we should display the new next, the new image. So let's hopefully I have, um, I'm going to need an ID on this image. Uh, we'll call it character image, right? So I can select this image element and then I can change its source. Okay. Um, let's just do a little console.log first, just to make sure I know what the new image will be. Um, and that image will be image paths at position image index, right? Because that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to look up the file name inside of my array by using that index, which was zero, but now should hopefully be one. Okay, let's try that. Let's open up my console here. So when I click next, Awesome, it print out Tigress, Viper, Monkey. So Tigress, Viper, Monkey, right? It's just going in order because I'm increasing this index. Start at zero, then one, two, three, four, five. Um, once it gets to five, it should loop back to Po. Okay, cool. So we're using the array. We're looking up the, the values in it with this index variable. So instead of logging to the console, let's go document oops document dot get element by ID I already forgot what I named it character image all right character image like so um, and what do I want to do with it dot source is assigned um, I always forget this but these um, images are inside of the images folder so we should go images slash and then plus the image path the file name Okay, let's see if that works. Next. Awesome. Okay, that's great. Okay, and then the, the previous button should be very similar, right? Except I'm going to go index minus minus. And if the image index equals negative one, that means that at like zero, I go to negative one. I've gone too far. I got to go back to the, the last element, the length minus one. Okay, and then update the image again. So I won't do, I'll let you guys maybe try that one. What I want to do is the, the random. Do I have an ID on that button? Random. That makes sense. So let's copy and paste this. Change this to random. And instead of next slide, let's go random slide. Okay. Fun, oops. Function random slide. Hello. Okay, so if I click random, what I'd like to do is get a random index, right? So get a random index. And because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six images, I want a random number, so an integer between zero and five, right? Um, and again, we talked about using the length here in case I added more images to this later. I should go an integer between zero and up to the length of the array. Right? I don't want. I don't include the length of the array. There's six things. I want to go zero up to the length six. So up. So it should equal five. So up to the length of the array, exclusive. Right? Don't equal the length of the array. Okay. Now, if only. Let me see if I have this in my folder here. Data course structure. I got my libraries. I'm going to take my math extensions libraries that we math extension library that we built in um, our functions unit, and I'm going to put it into here. Math extensions.js. Let's load that script source equals math extensions.js. And remember, inside of here, we had random deaths, random int, round two. So I want the random int, which gives me a random int between low inclusive and high exclusive. Perfect. Right? I can put zero in here, and I can put the length of the array in here. So now that I've loaded that library, I can simply go let random index be assigned math.random int zero to image paths dot length. Right, so give me a random integer between zero inclusive and up to the length of the array. And just for funsies, let's console.log random index just to make sure we know what we're working with. Random, so one, three, one, zero, two, four, five. Awesome. 
So random integers within that range, which are my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the positions in the array. Okay. So, oh, actually, why am I making a new variable random index? I should just be assigning image index, right? My global image index to be this random integer. And then I can do this. Copy and paste, display the new image. I think I'm using image index there. I just assigned it to be random. Cool, let's try that. So the next still cycles through, but random will get me, sometimes it'll duplicate, of course, if you get the same value twice. But now I'm getting a random person, and I should still be able to cycle. Crane to Poe, yep, awesome. Okay, now the only thing I might want to add here is that, um, actually this was pretty image index, image paths. I'm just thinking that being able to select a random element from an array might be kind of a common task. So instead of this two steps where I get a, a random um, image index, oh, but I want to update the image index anyway. Okay, forget it. I was thinking that we could add to our math extensions some sort of a random element, so we select a random element. But uh, in, in this example, it's not the best example because I, I need to update my index anyway. Maybe we'll do that in a future video. Okay, so this was supposed to be kind of an introduction to arrays. We're using this array to list or to store all of our, our image names, um, using an index variable to control um, the index, the position that I'm looking up, right? Which file I'm looking up, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Making sure we can access the length of the array, that's important. Um, and that hits kind of the, I have my data structures notes here, right? We created the array. We're accessing the elements with the position, right? What file we want to look up. Um, traversing the array, uh, we did the length of the array. Traversing the array we didn't do, but that's what we'll do in, uh, in the second video here, where instead of doing this slideshow like this, um, I'll show you how we can just generate, use the JavaScript to build a, a gallery. Okay, and it'll generate the elements for us. Okay, so stop the video here. In the next one, we'll use that traversing the array, right? Using loops to loop through all the elements in the array in order to, to display them. All right, I hope that made sense so far. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.